Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sapniewski. Thank you so much for popping by my channel. In this video, I'm going to go over my top asked questions regarding LumaFusion. And it seems like that copy and paste feature really gives people some problems. So I'm going to touch on that and what you may be doing wrong and why you're getting hung up there. Below, you're going to see a title pop up, which I think is totally awesome. I had seen something like that on Peter Lindgren's channel, and I thought that is the coolest thing ever. I'm going to make that within LumaFusion. And I did, but it took me about an hour to accomplish all of that and to show you how to use the copy and paste function we are going to be using that very title and I'm going to leave it free for you as a gift download it from my Google Drive I will leave the link below you're welcome a couple of other questions how do you restore audio once it's been deleted out of clips how to quickly EQ your audio and there was something else. Oh, Storyblocks. How do I subscribe to Storyblocks in LumaFusion? I'm gonna show you the way that I did it when I first got LumaFusion. It may have changed, so in case I'm guiding you the wrong way, I'm gonna leave the email for LumaTouch below. Let's jump into the overhead camera and get this show on the road. Now here is the new callout that I've designed. Now let's say I want to add this to an existing video. What I need to do to get all of this done is hit the little box with the check in it, highlight every little thing that's in this entire box, okay? And now we're going to go to the clipboard and we're going to hit copy. Now we're going to go to an existing thing here. What you wanna do is put your video exactly on the spot where you want that to pop up. So again, you go to the clipboard and now I'm going to hit paste and there it's going to pop up. But let me just get rid of that for a second. Now let me explain to you where you're going wrong and this is gonna help alleviate some of your frustrations. In the project that you wanna paste that, whatever it is that you're doing into, if you have a clip highlighted in your existing project and you go to hit the clipboard and you hit paste, there's no paste. So then you start freaking out, oh my gosh, it didn't work, What's, I can't get this to work, what's going on? Be patient, look to see what the clipboard is telling you. Just don't get frustrated with the clipboard because the paste option is not there. Look to see what it's saying to you. You have six clips that are pasted, but you have one clip that's selected. You have to deselect that clip before it can paste. So you have to unhighlight that. Now let's go back to the paste function again. Boom, there it is. So that's where I think people are getting hung up. They're not deselecting clips that are in the existing project. Let me show you another problem that people have with this copy and paste function and how I avoid it. See all of these titles? I've built all of these titles myself within LumaFusion, just using a little bit of patience and elbow grease to get them done. And when I build titles or I'm doing anything, I always build them above the timeline. This is the timeline right here. You may notice that it's empty. This makes it so much easier when I go to paste that in an existing project. Let me show you an example of what I'm talking about. I'm going to copy and paste this again. Let me just pull one of these layers down onto the timeline. Now let's go ahead and use the brackets there to make it easy to copy and paste. So copy. Now let me go back to that very same project. Now let's say I want the title to pop up right there. I go to the clipboard and the paste is there. That's not the issue, but I go to paste it. Now look what's happened. It has completely spread my project apart. It moved it onto the timeline. If you wanna avoid doing that, make sure everything is above the timeline when you make your initial copy. Now I know what you're thinking, well, that's no big deal. All I have to do is grab it and move it above and boom, there it is. But see how it slingshots right back onto the timeline? If you wanna do that, what you have to do is make sure that particular layer is highlighted. Now you wanna come down to the unlink bar. Boom, you've unlinked it. Now you can move it back up and that's going to correct it. But now you have to make sure that everything is linked again, so you have to go through the relinking process. It's just so much easier to import it when it's above the timeline. And our next tip is regarding restoring deleted audio from clips. Let's say this particular clip, I wanted to delete the audio. All you'd have to do is make sure that the clip is highlighted and you just come down to the audio wave right down here, boom, 
you hit that, that will drop your audio out of that clip. You just highlight the audio and you throw it in the garbage. Now let's say you've changed your mind. You need the audio back, you want it back. You don't have to pull the original video out of your archives and get it back into your timeline. All you have to do is make sure the clip is highlighted. Now let's hit the pencil so that we can edit it. Go down to the little speaker icon that will bring you to the audio. And you see where it says volume? It's completely just taken the volume out of your video clip. It actually didn't delete your audio. It just brought the volume of your audio all the way down. So you just want to bring that back to zero and that is going to restore your deleted audio. The next tip was how to quickly equalize your audio in LumaFusion. So let's go back to that audio. We'll hit the pencil again so we can go back into that clips audio. Now, as you can see, we're pretty limited when it comes to the audio in LumaFusion. And I'm convinced that half of these don't even really work. But let's say you just wanted to get a quick little equalization to your audio. You just want it to be a little crisper. You want it to have a little more presence and be warmer. The best thing that you can do is go all the way down to, where is it? Dynamic processor. Hit the dynamic processor. And that is going to have a lot of presets built into the dynamic processor. And I have to say, this dynamic processor it does work. Go all the way to the bottom slider, that's master gain, and bring this up a few decibels. Let's go to about eight, that looks good. And that really is going to just do something to your audio that's awesome. I always like to drop a keyframe just in case. Build quality, is Build quality is really good. It's packed with features. Build quality is really good. It's packed with features. It's a beautiful light. It's really durable. It's a beautiful light. It's really durable. The next tip is going to be about how to start your subscription with Storyblocks. Like I said, this is how I started my subscription. If you're still having issues, contact LumaTouch. Okay, so what you need to do is go to the little flower icon up in the upper left hand corner and tap that. Now you want to go to Storyblocks. Let's go to music. Storyblocks is so awesome, you guys. They do give you a lot of different free music. I mean, look, listen to this free song, this joyful ride. I think I really like that one. I think it's a really cool song. How I subscribed to Storyblocks is I tried to use one of these paid songs. So I went to go and put it into my timeline and then I was prompted with would you like to subscribe to Storyblocks on either a monthly or annual plan and that's how I signed up with Storyblocks. Josh from LumaTouch did reach out to me. He invited me to go on one of their live streams. Unfortunately, I had to decline because I have so much going on right now. I just can't take on another project, but I did appreciate the invite. While we were communicating, he asked me how things were going with Storyblocks. I was getting a lot of copyright infringements with a lot of my videos because of the music I was using with Storyblocks. And I'd mentioned to him, you know, it's been a while since anything has been blocked. He did say that they changed something with the algorithm. Now, I don't know if that was LumaFusion or Storyblocks themselves, but it's made a huge difference. I have not had one single video held up due to a copyright infringement. So be comfortable with subscribing to Storyblocks. They've done something. I don't know what they did, but whatever they did seemed to fix it. Let me knock on some wood here. I don't want to jinx myself. Don't forget, in the description box below, I'm going to leave a link to that lower thirds call out that I created in LumaFusion. Now, it did take a little bit to create that, but uh, you know, there's really nothing that you can't do in LumaFusion that you can't do in the other much more expensive programs. You need just a little bit of patience, a little bit of creativity and know-how and you can do it. And it doesn't have to be for Instagram. You can go in there and edit it and make it for anything that you want, your YouTube channel even. Man, I, I, I need a serious, I'm so sick and tired of cutting my own hair. I need it professionally done. It's just, it looks, I'm not gifted when it comes to that. Well, that's going to do it here for me today. I thank you so much for joining me. And until next time, wear your sunblock and call your mom and dad just to say hi.